Hey guys, good morning, it's Callie. What's up Wednesday? Looks like a beautiful day out. I can feel the fall in the air. I'm fighting off a cold, one of the presents I got from my grandkids. Um, but I'm going to persevere and carry on and get up and get dressed and get on with the day. So stick around and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee, which I should probably have tea, but you know me. And I wanted to show you guys these art cards that I created um, as part of a collaboration with some people from the Creative Arts Collaboration. It was started by Felicia Fallum, and I'll put her link below. And when I post the video, it's actually uploading right now. When I post the process video of how I did these, I'll link the other artists that were involved uh, in the swap as well. But I had to laugh, you guys, because um, I'm getting. We're gonna have to go to the post office later to mail these. But like any true artist, I'm drinking my coffee here, and don't you know that I spilled coffee all over the art cards? So they have been christened by coffee. They're all fine. But I literally had to laugh because why wouldn't I spill coffee all over them this morning? Yeah, so they came out cool though, didn't they? And there's some amazing people involved in this swap and I'm really excited. So when I get the, uh, we each did, it was eight people I believe. I did ten cards just in case there were extra, but... Um, and we're each going to get back one different card. So we'll have, I'll have eight different cards to show you. Anyway, that was fun. And also, I wanted to show you, in case you didn't see, I did another mission inspiration page for Mike Deacon's group. And I'll link that video below too. But I was really pleased with the way this one came out. With quotes from Fleetwood Max or Yannon. And uh, I can't say it enough. I love these challenges because it really puts you out of your comfort zone and forces you to or gently guides you in different ways of uh, creating art that you wouldn't normally do, uh, think of on your own. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun, too. And what else is going on? I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. I have a few things that I got in the mail. And I have some stuff I want to talk about. Um, I've been playing my guitar. And, uh, yeah, so let me, I don't know. I have no appetite, but I should really eat something. we got a ton of frozen bananas and some blueberries. Maybe I'll just make up a smoothie. Oh, how surprising. Um, and after that... Let me get dressed, and yeah, maybe we'll go out to the post office, and then I'm going to crash early tonight, you guys. I doubt if I'll be doing any dinner recipes or anything, because I'm really not feeling good, but I'm trying to rally here, so um, yeah, let's get some breakfast. And before these go in the mail today, I'll be anointing them with some patchouli oil for extra love and blessings and good smells. So if you ever wonder what I smell like, this is it. Oh my God, I'm definitely off this morning, you guys. Okay, this is the third time that I'm starting this right now. The first time, the phone rang in the middle, so I had to stop filming. And the second time, I went to put my ingredients in here and I forgot to put the blade in. So we're going for round number three. And I'm not even going to bother. I've already dumped out um, about four frozen bananas and a handful or two of some frozen blueberries. So we're going to just put them back in the bowl of the processor here. Uh, yeah, when I get back from the post office today, I'm just going to crash. All right, so blueberries and bananas. 
For those of you who watch my vegan cuts unboxing, you saw that I got this mango banana water. I wasn't crazy about it at all, but I think it'll be good in the smoothie this morning. So I'm just going to add some of that. Um, if I didn't use that, I would use almond milk. You could just use ice cubes, but I don't know, I'm just a couple glugs of that. I also have, um, from a Vegan Cuts box, this Kuna Chia. It's a Chia and probiotic shot. So I figured I'll throw that in there too. Probably doesn't taste like much of anything. And I also have some vanilla. I'm just going to do a little shot of that. And some powdered flaxseed. There's probably like two tablespoons left in there. I have some in the pantry. I love this stuff. I use it in everything. All right, so let's blend that up. And I'll get back to you when it's done. So. Let's see what we got. I added another banana while it was mixing. Looks good to me. What do you guys think? You know what? Rather than make a mess, because I could tell it's going to be that kind of a day, pull out my handy dandy funnel. I use these things all the time. Ooh, watch it there, Callie. Yum. Look at that. Cheers. All right, you guys, I'm going to drink this, and then I'll see you back. Oh, how could I not share a first sip with you guys? Look at this. Got my straw. Might be too thick for a straw. Oh my God, that is amazing. It is a little thick for a straw. I'm gonna grab a spoon. Freaking amazing. Ah, it's like a milkshake. It's like melted ice cream milkshake. so good and I've said this before I really love the flaxseed in there it gives it a nice nutty taste can't taste the chia <clears throat> can't taste the banana mango water but it's super cold which feels great on my throat and there's no dairy which dairy is the worst thing in the world when you're you know, it produces mucus in your body. So not that I eat dairy, but I'm just saying for those of you, again, if anyone's transitioning or trying to transition to a more plant-based diet, try one of these because it, to me, tastes like banana blueberry ice cream. Mmm. All right, guys, let me finish this. And when I am going to get washed up and dressed, brush my teeth. We'll go out, go to the post office, and then I'm going to come back here and crash. But I will share with you, I have, like I said, a little bit of a few things that came in the mail from Amazon. And um, I'll give you the leg follow-up and all of the updates on my exciting life. All right? See you in a little bit.
Okay guys, off to the post office we go. And it's a shame I'm feeling so lousy today because it's just glorious outside. It's still a little warm. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can definitely feel the fall in the air. And it's my favorite season. Welcome, Virgo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so my cold shall pass as the seasons pass. And uh, that's my philosophical waxing for the day. So let's go do this. I'm going to stop in and say a quick hello to Tom. Uh, if he was going to catch my cold, he would have caught it already. And then we're going to head to the post office. We'll get these art cards mailed out. And I'm really excited. Um, this is cool. I wor I'm working, I collaborated this time with a few people that I've never collaborated with before. And that's exciting. So love networking. It's my favorite part about having my channel is meeting everyone and having friends all over the planet. So I love you, my friends, and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to give you an update on the leg. I kind of held off making appointments because I knew I was going to be babysitting in the last two weeks. So right now I am waiting on a script for my physical therapy evaluation. That should be mailed out uh, by tomorrow. Spoke with the doc's office on that. And that physical therapy appointment is going to take about four hours to complete. So I'm gonna schedule that for next week. And then once that is done, that assessment is done, then it's back to the prosthetist. And we'll get moving on getting a new leg so I've just kind of been busy doing other things but I have not forgotten about that and oh policeman okay oh there's a stop here so I'm gonna turn you guys off they must be checking inspections or something okay yeah they were checking inspection stickers and registration and I'm legal so that's good. Uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Leg, la, 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 la. Okay, um, I'm getting into town right now. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys uh, when we leave the post office, okay? See you in a minute. Okay guys, leaving the post office. And I told you, I live in kind of a one-horse town, so it's always a bit of a reunion whenever you go in there. Uh, but it seems like everybody's doing well. And I was able to stop and see Tom and Nick quick. And Tom hooked me up with a mocha swirl macchiato, my favorite. And that was very sweet. It was good to see them. I feel bad because I don't want them to feel bad so I'm limiting my exposure over there but again if they were gonna get sick you know once you start showing symptoms usually the period of contagion is over but who knows what I got and what I'm spreading around town let's go to the post office and spread it to everybody there did you guys ever read the stand by Stephen King captain trips thumbs up if you have Speaking of Stephen King, I finished, uh, what was it, Not uh, Endgame or whatever that was, and then I read the first one, Mr. Mercedes, I'm talking about the trilogy, right, and then the second one is Finders Keepers, I started that, but in the meantime, I downloaded another book he wrote called Revival. And I've been reading that. It's really good. Obviously, I've been on a Stephen King kick um, in my spare time, right? So uh, that trip pretty much wore me out, and my throat is really sore. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm just not feeling good today. So 
Uh, in spite of all the good things happening around, and I know this will pass, I'm going to go home and I'll share with you guys um, the stuff I got from Amazon, and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm not going to do any cooking. I'm just going to, I might even take a nap. I'm that worn out, so I hope you guys are okay with that. And that's, that's my plan. No more art today. I'm just going to chill and relax. Although I have lots of plans upcoming uh, for some more tutorials and stuff. But, all right, guys. I'll see you in the house, okay? See you in just a few. Okay, let me show you this stuff real quick, you guys. I can't believe it's 3 o'clock already. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is just a small call. I hesitate to even call it that, from uh, Deco Arts. And for those of you who know, know that I'm a member of the Deco Arts Helping Artists program. And one of the perks of being involved in that program is that you can buy supplies at a s steeply discounted rate. So I got some stencils here, and they ranged in price from $0.75 cents to like $1.50. I can't really remember, but they were super cheap. They were all on clearance. So this one is a um, stencil from Americana. Sorry for the glare. And these are peace signs. Again, I think like $1.50 or something. Um, I did not use any of these on my latest mixed media cards. But I have them. Also, I think these were 75 cents. And they say that these are for use with the gloss enamels. I don't have any of the gloss enamels. But I have used these sticky stencils before and they work very well. Um, so use them for whatever you want to use them for. Also, these, I think, were on clearance for $0.75. Cents. Love this bat and bone border. Say that five times fast. So, again, these are gloss enamel stencils. They wash up great. And my favorite season is right around the corner. All right, another Americana. This one looks like a circuit board. Love it. And then, I don't even remember ordering this one, but it must have been super cheap. I don't normally like big stencils, but this is, you can see up here, it's a butterfly, a fleur-de-lis, and a flower. So this was probably a dollar, dollar fifty. Butterflies hiding out under there. I like this flower. I like all of it, but... I don't know why I got it. It must have been super, super cheap. And I also got two 16-ounce uh, bottles of decoupage. If they sold this stuff in big drums, I would probably buy it. Um, I personally don't see any difference between uh, Americana decoupage and plaid Mod Podge. But if you guys know of any differences, let me know. They're all the same to me. They work. I use them all the time. So there's that stuff. And then, randomly from Amazon, I've been threatening to do, you can see down here, I've been threatening to do clay for a while now. Um, I really, really want to put some energy into doing some polymer clay. So, of course, I just keep buying supplies and haven't used any yet. But I wanted to get specifically um, this, this is original Sculpey in terracotta. I love terracotta, and I have a specific plan for this kind. I almost got some air dry clay, but I didn't. You can see, it's just a big brick. Love me some Sculpey. So there's that. And then I also, um, just to stock up on some different colors, I got some Primo in, I, oh, Cobalt Blue, and I don't know, so it's like Periwinkle or something, and this is Primo Sculpey Accents, this looks like Copper. Oh yeah, the top, it's on the top. 
This is copper. Oh, this was periwinkle. Go me. Uh, I think I accidentally... Oh no, this one's gold. This one is in Wisteria. And last but not least, some Sculpey in Tranquility. Looks like teal. So just some random colors to add to my collection. And also, I got another texture sheet. This just was in the mailbox when I went outside. Um, you can use this for clay. You could use it for stamping. I actually thought it was a little bigger than it is, but I don't care. I don't really need it to be that big. But this is Celtic Knotwork. Isn't that pretty? So, just a flimsy texture sheet. And last but not least, this is a replacement item for something that I've owned uh, in the past. I got a new, um, this is a 15-piece wood-burning and hobby iron kit. So basically it's a wood-burning tool. I had one of these for years, and it got, the tip got messed up. One of the attachments got stuck to it, and I wasn't able to use it, but this is what it looks like. And this was probably like, I don't know, $15 or something. Uh, when I figure out how to open it, I will do so. But for now, and these are great for wood burning, for all kinds of things. You can make stencils, you can do engraving. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to have this again. And let me know if you guys have used them or what your favorite craft to do with them is. I know a while back, um, one of our fellow uh, artists here on YouTube, Dion Campbell, did these beautiful uh, journal covers with some wood burning or pyrography. So that was cool. And to go along with that, I got these, um, I don't even know what kind, I think it's hickory bark, but... Oh, excuse my nails, you guys. So these round discs, and they're all different sizes. And I have some plans for these as well. They're beautiful just as they are, aren't they? They smell good, too. So that's it for my haul, you guys. Um, I'm going to curl up on the couch right now with my book. And I'm going to say peace and love. Thank you guys for everything, for all your support, for all your love. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Um, stay tuned for some tutorials coming up. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing. So I hope you're having a great week. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Be well. Um, and uh, that's it. Take care. Love you guys. Bye-bye.